a big break in the St. Peter Schnooks parking lot shooting. Police say they not only know who did it, but they also say they have connected him to other crimes. Fox 2 investigator Chris Hayes is here with the exclusive story after digging deeper into the court documents. And Chris, they are still looking for him tonight. Mandy, impressive police cooperation along with surveillance video and fingerprints helped connect the dots for investigators. The suspected Schnooks parking lot shooter is now charged with a crime. Though not yet captured, he remains wanted. Court records identify the shooter at this St. Peter Schnooks parking lot Friday as 24-year-old Tyrone Miller from O'Fallon, Illinois. Police say Miller left fingerprints on the front passenger window of where he tried and failed to snatch a purse from a woman sitting in her car. Instead, he reportedly shot her in the ear with the bullet coming out of her jaw. The victim's husband said he remembered the suspect car was parked in the same row just a few spaces away. Court records indicate license plate readers like this helped identify the car, an Avis rental car from St. Peter's, later found dumped and wiped clean of evidence in East St. Louis. St. Charles County prosecutor charging documents note a series of similar purse snatchings and robberies in multiple jurisdictions, including one in Shrewsbury, in which police say Miller was positively identified walking inside the Deerberg store just hours before the St. Peter Schnooks attempted robbery. We've also learned of a theft near the Chesterfield Walmart in the Valley that may be connected. No violence in this case, as police say they're looking into a March 2nd incident in the parking lot where a suspect in a gray or silver SUV stole something from someone who was not paying attention. I tend to let my guard down when I'm here in Chesterfield or in St. Peter's. Way Jones here loading up groceries with his wife says the incidents are good reminders to pay attention wherever you are. That really brings it home and helps you see that crime really is everywhere. Again, no suspect Tyrone Miller is charged in connection with the Schnooks parking lot shooting. He's not yet been captured. He's not only wanted, but police also say he has an extensive criminal history, which includes kidnapping. Chris Hayes, Fox 2 News.